Hey folks, with KBF, this is Steve Lehman, and I'm going to show you a few things today. We're going to go over the identifier, we're going to catch a fish out there, and show you how to put it on the hog trough, and get that great picture to submit. So just follow along with me for just a minute, and we'll try to have some fun with this. Alright, what I do is I carry a whole bunch of these identifiers because we go through them all the time. I carry a Sharpie, more like four or five of them. I look up the codes online, you can find them on tourneyx.com, you can get them on the app, you can peruse Facebook, somebody has these codes. I look on there, if I don't have that I might call up my friend Billy who's videoing this. If that doesn't work, then you just give KBF a shout and say hey I can't find the codes. Put it on the, the members only page and somebody will get it to you in a matter of 10 seconds. So for today's codes, as you can see, Billy wants to get in here. It looks like on Facebook it was posted XEK, so it's right there. So instead of using a pen that nobody can see, we use the Sharpie. That way it can't go anywhere. And you got X E K. That's the July monthly challenge for Missouri. Now I also signed up for the Freedom Tournament, which is five T in the box. You make it as big as you can in the box. Use a Sharpie. That way, when you're on the water, anybody can see it. Now, this is my hog trough here. Everybody has the same hog trough. As you can see, I already took a Sharpie. And this is what you do in case you haven't done it yet so judges can actually get a good picture. I take a, a new Sharpie. People always say get the thick ones, a standard Sharpie. And I usually do it at an angle. And I just go across it. And that darkens it in. Mine's already been darked in so everybody can see it. That's all you do. I also bought this tourney tag a long time ago, and I'll tell you what, it's worth a $5 investment. If you want to get 20 of them, that's fine, but worth every penny. All right, then all you got to do is put your identifier in the tourney tag. That's the only grueling part because I use regular paper ones, and my friend Billy, he laminates all this stuff. We shove it in there. And of course, when you're trying to video things, it uh, wants to be more difficult than what it normally is. Make sure everything's viewable, 100%. Seal off your tourney tag so the water doesn't get in it. And this is what you have for here. Now. In a few minutes, we are going to head out and go fishing. We're going to try to catch a fish, folks. And we'll get it, and I'll show you the entire process and what I do. Maybe we'll do two of them if we can do it quick. As you can see right here, this is my boat right here. This is a Jackson kayak. And then over here, you can see Billy's boat, which is a Vibe kayak. Is there any difference between kayaks? No. Is mine better than Billy's? Yes. I mean, I mean no. But just get out on the water, do some fishing have some fun it doesn't matter what kind of kayak you're on you're just trying to catch fish have fun maybe you can win some money at this okay we'll see you on the water all right folks it took me a little while to catch a fish for you but since we get to edit video it's gonna seem like just a second so now I'm gonna show you how to put the fish on your board take a picture make sure it's clear make sure you have all the stuff and then submit it that way there's no questions whatsoever in your mind this is how you do it and you're never going to have a problem as far as getting it right now the fish may flop off and go in the water that's just part of enjoying the kbf i did catch a fish i put it on my uh, flyer thingies otherwise known as fish grips fish grips there we go sorry i'm still excited got a fish i'm happy <laughs> all right so you get your hog trough you get it set up all right, dip it in the water because that's what Joe told me to do a long time ago, dip it in the water and make, make the fish feel good. Set it where you're gonna set it. Most people say set it at a little bit of an angle to calm the fish down. I don't bother doing that, but that's me. The next thing you wanna do is get your phone ready. I keep my phone on a lanyard because, well, how many people drop their phones and never get them again? So I keep it on a lanyard so I don't lose it. I have dropped it in the water and it bounced right back up. So, you get your camera ready. Okay, that's ready. I set that aside. 
I'm going to get the fish. Now, a lot of people like to put their fish on the fish grips and let them wear themselves out to make it easier. So here's the fish. Take it off the fish grips. See, it is a pretty one. And I just put it on there. I have a hold of it. It doesn't want to close its mouth, of course, because, well, what fish wants to? So I kind of just help it with its mouth a little bit, give it a second, push it up, push it up, push it up. Keep pushing. All right, I got them close to it. I got my tourney tag set up. I kind of mess with the tail, try to get it fanned out a little bit. Make sure his mouth is shut. Pull out your phone. Now, when I take a picture, I put the phone there, I hit to focus on the fish, I raise it up, I take a picture, I take another picture, I raise up the phone, I take another picture, it's right over the fish. And I can look at the pictures and say, huh, did I get the nose on the board? Yes. Is the tail where it should be? Yes. Is the complete identifier there? Yes. Can you read everything? Yes. So I have a good picture of this fish. Now all I gotta do is go to my turny thing and I can input that but right now this fish needs to get back in the water because it is CPR catch photo release not catch photo and kill the fish all right so we can do this different ways you can let it go you can pick it up you can do whatever you want I'm gonna see if it wants to jump off on its own okay here we go do you want to go nope it's calmed down now Joshua Boo says if you rub a big girl with two fingers, she'll just lay there for you. You don't ever have to worry about holding it down. It appears to be working. I was going to say, he said not three fingers. Two fingers is what they like. All right. Well, she doesn't want to go anywhere, so we are going to make sure that she's good to go. I'm going to put her in the water. And give her a little bit of water going back and forth. Ready? She just swam off. She's gone. Now after that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get back on my phone. I'm going to pull up the Turney X app. I'm going to hit Submit Catch. And this is going to be for the one night stand. Browse photos. Camera roll. And it should be this picture right here, the first one. Now it comes up as snag because I don't know, but it's been like that since I first did this. I have done everything possible, turned on location, redid everything, restart the phone, it doesn't make a difference. The fish is 17 and a quarter, so 17 and a quarter is 1725. And you hit done. So 17 and a quarter, submit bass. Submit to leaderboard. And I happen to be on a lake that you actually get Wi-Fi for Sprint, which is crazy, I know but I do. So that is how you submit a fish, 100% all the way through. You don't have any problems. The only thing missing was my line cutter's ring that says KBF. See, I forgot that. If I had a Sharpie that worked better on wet hands, I'd write KBF and line cutter. I have two on order, so they'll be here soon for the next video or pictures or whatever we'll get them set up for you all right folks if you have any questions feel free to contact billy reynolds who's editing the video making the video or steve lehman and i'll be happy to help you with any questions you have about submitting a fish how to get a clear picture whatever you need let's get it done let's have some fun fishing and enjoy your year let's go get some more yes let's Later. go get more